What up guys? Bitcoin sitting at $69,272. Sitting at a really good position before the happening. Do you guys think we're going to dip any more before the happening or are we going to stay exactly where we're at and just trade sideways for the next couple of months, uh, next couple of uh, days, like 15 days, I believe 14, 15 days, depending on when you watch this, I do potentially see us dropping down to that, uh, $60,000 range, but it, even if it does, it's whatever. Today I have a new CPU and GPU mineable coin. It actually mines on both your CPU and GPU at the same time. It is called Warthog. Uh, Warthog is an experimental cryptocurrency with the world's first proof of balance work, work algorithm written by a group of crypto enthusiasts. It is meant to be a, a community effort and everyone is more than welcome to join and contribute. Who knows how big this project will get? Um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to get set up, how to get your rig set up on Warthog in Windows and Hive OS. We're going to go through this uh, page, go over the tokenomics, all that fun stuff, get you guys set up in mining and see how profitable it potentially could be. Let's get into it. Okay, so Warthog, proof of balanced work. This coin is kind of weird because it uses both uh, GPU and CPU to mine at the same time. Kind of interesting. Uh, I do believe the better this, it is better to have a stronger CPU than a stronger GPU, but who knows? Um, so as far as tokenomics go, uh, coin unit is one wart, block time 20, sec 20 seconds, block ward is three wart. Having is every two years, maximum supply is roughly 19 million wart, and difficulty adjustment is every four hours. Currently tradable on Xbitron, XEdge, Trade Ogre, Discord Coldrobot, and Discord P2P thread. And they have their Discord. Um, they do have a Discord and are somewhat active on their Twitter. So, yeah. Um, you can set up and mine to a node, your own wallet. I'm too lazy for that. So currently I am mining over to XEdge and hoping that it actually goes through. I have seen some people say they have had good luck and it's worked, but we'll see. Um, so as far as mining, as far as mining goes for Windows, for the miner, well, for, we're gonna use the same miner in Windows and in Hive OS. Uh, you're going to come over here to BZ Miner releases. I'll have everything linked down below in the description. You'll come over here, scroll, 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 scroll. Make sure you're on the one that has all the Warthog. You're going to want to be on version 21.0.3. Come down on, click here, the window zip. You're going to click it. It'll do its download thing. Once you have it downloaded, you're going to extract it bring it over to your folder with all your miners. You'll have this right here, BZ miner. So there's two ways you can go about doing your bat file. Um, they already have one in here and you can just come through and edit this one. You're going to want to pick which pool you're using, whether you're in a solo or pool, and then you're going to want to get rid of all the other randomness. Or if you want to do it the simpler way, what I did was, so as far as pools, we have ACC pool, Wooly Pooly, and WartPool.io. I'm currently using Wooly Pooly just because ACC pool has a lot of the hash rate. So if you come over to Wooly Pooly, you come down to Wart, select pool type. You can either do solo or PPLNS. We're going to do that one. For our region, we're going to do US. For our... uh. For our region, US, this is where you're going, to, you're going to copy this for later for your Hive OS. If you're doing it in Hive OS, for minor, we're going to use BZ. You're going to enter your wallet address, which I have right here. You'll get your wallet address from if you're doing exchange. Exchange, be very careful. Make sure people have actually gotten their payouts on said exchange. And if you're mining to your own wallet, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother thing. Name your worker. 
and then you can download and unpack the miner directly from Wooly Pooly. I personally rather go to the miner's website because you never know what these pulls are giving to you. And then after you do that, they'll give you this uh, bat file right here. What you're going to do is you can hit download and that's supposed to be king, not kink. I'm tired. It's been a long day. You're going to download that bat file, download this unverified poisonous file. You guys should always be careful when downloading random things to your computer. You're going to cut that out of there. Then you'll go over and paste it into, paste it into your a folder with all your miners and you're all set to go in windows super easy super quick tuning for this uh coin is going to be extremely tricky because it does use both your gpu and your cpu another thing is you're going to want a bad boy of a cpu cooler i'll have some cpu coolers linked down below in the description if i remember but you are definitely going to want to beef that up because this coin will pull on it if you let it and for all you Hive OS folks, we'll come over here. Um, so we had to go into the beta for, if you did watch Cubic, do all that stuff, you're probably in the beta. You can update your, to the newest uh, Hive OS stable version and your Cubic will still work. But for this, you're gonna come over, add wallet, also, if you haven't, go ahead, like, and subscribe. We're trying to get to 700 subscribers, trying to get monetized so we can make some better videos. You're going to type in wart. Hive OS does already have it. Also, check out the links down below. They'll make you some money and they'll make me some money. You'll paste in your address right there. And I lost it. Don't need that anymore. We will actually need that again. But we'll come over here, hit edit. I just need my wallet address, copy, exit that for now. Come back over here, back over to HiveOS. You'll paste your address, you'll name it. I'm using XEdge, so I just put, oop. I'm just using XEdge, so I put an X, then you hit create. You'll hit flight sheets. So with this coin, you're not gonna wanna set it up like how I normally do mine with like a CPU mineable coin and a GPU mineable coin because that will not be pretty. Um, just, yeah. So for coin, you're gonna put wart, our wallet X pool. If you're doing, ah, uh, for Wooly Pulley, they make it super easy. Just come over here, hit US PPLNS or solo if you wish to do solo. You hit apply. And then as far as this goes, we're just going to select BZ miner. There's nothing in the miner config you need to set up. One thing you can do with uh, BZ miner is you can set your CPU threads, you can set your max RAM, and you can set your uh, verse, your verus hash rate target. Um, it just essentially how much each hash rate each GPU will provide. So you can set those augments in here or you can go through. So go ahead, apply changes, create flight sheet, name it Warthog, whatever. And then for your actual workers, one thing you can do is if you come over here into tuning, come down here to BZ minor you can set the extra configs in the actual in the actual worker you're using so that you don't have to set it for all your workers or if you want to you can just make separate flight sheets for each worker but yeah i wouldn't recommend one thing i will note is currently i don't believe that hive os uh works with amd cards i have not tested to see if windows works with uh amd cards but yeah uh, I did throw a rig on it for a couple seconds, still testing. Um, I believe total. So they do have a hash rate calculator. I do. So they have a Janus score and a hash rate. So it's kind of confusing on which is which, but from what I noticed, my hash rate was around 0.445 giga hash. If that's right, that's about 3.25 for uh, daily, roughly $2.93, $20 a week, and um, $87.95.
a month. So the rig I did test this on has two RTX 3060 Ti's and a Ryzen 5 5900X, but I'm pretty sure that it's only mining on one of those uh, Ryzen, um, sorry about that, on only one of those uh, RTX 3060 Ti's. So, I mean, if this is for one CPU and one GPU, I wouldn't say that's too bad whatsoever. I'd have to check out the power, but that would actually be relatively good. Um, actually, let's try this. Say, I think I was getting like 12.75. And then on my GPU, I was getting 4.5. That gives me a Jana score of 234. So that says it's closer to $1.54. So I might leave that particular rig on it overnight, see what I actually get in the morning, and I may do a post on it. We'll see. But yeah, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Uh, trying to get 700 subscribers, it, I'm tired. I want to get monetized, do all the things. I'll have links down below in the description for website, miner, mining pool, all that fun stuff. Check out some of the other videos on the channel. You never know what I have up there that might surprise you. You guys have a nice day and peace out.